Hey, good afternoon, guys. This is Matt coming to you from Philadelphia, PA. Matt Rivers, and I wanted to talk to you about um, spam words to avoid in your emails when you're sending out your emails. Uh, but let's first talk a little bit about email marketing. Now, uh, in email marketing, we're actually trained and taught by our mentors to really email your market, email your list every day, sometimes twice a day from some of the top money earners I've heard. And um, so two emails a day is not overkill. And in rare instances, a third email will be fine uh, once you learn what your list is about uh, and what they like and don't like. Now, you have to build a list first <laughs> uh, before you can email them, of course. And the best way to do that is actually through uh, the many capture pages that we use in our email, I mean, in our marketing uh, online. You have to capture the emails, uh, create content, and convert the content or convert the uh, sales from that content. Now, in email marketing, what you want to do first is, again, build your list, okay? And over time, that list will get bigger and bigger. Then after you've built your list, even if it's just one person on your list, you still have to develop a relationship with your list. Now, what do I mean by building relationship? Well, you, you have to be careful here because you don't want to just keep selling, 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 selling. And, and not giving anything, you know? So you have to actually give content and value to your list in order for them to like and trust you. And if they like and trust you, they'll start to follow you to the end of time. And then you can, you know, what I was kind of told is 80% of give and 20% sell, you know, kind of just educate, educate, give everything. Uh, not everything, but you know, 80% of your, your value. And then in 20% of the time, sprinkle in your sales, you know, sprinkle in, you know, hey, this is a great tool that I've been using in my business and you, I think you should get it or something like that. A call to action there. So after you build your list and then you build a relationship with that list, then the third part of it is actually you're in a position where you can monetize your list, meaning it's okay to get into that 20% area of you know actually selling to your list you know because they already know who you are they've been following you for months sometimes years and they know who you are so they, they don't mind actually if you suggest something or recommend something for them to help them in their business that you're using that you're finding success with they're going to go ahead and copy it off of you they're going to click on your link and buy through you because over those times over that year you've been educating you've been giving of yourself and giving of your time and, and, and being a little you know sometimes sprinkling some personal information you know about your family what you've been doing you know, don't overkill that, but uh, that's how you do that. Now, let's talk about um, some um, email spam words that you want to avoid using. And some of these are actually words I still use because we're told to actually be compelling, you know, be captive, captivating, so it keeps your uh, audience engaged. Well, some of those uh, words that you do want to avoid are like million dollars, okay? You want to kind of avoid that. Um, let's see, promise you. Um, satisfaction guaranteed, uh, no cost, you've been selected, um, cash bonus, why pay more, um, and a few others, you know, um, free is actually one of those words, amazing is one of those words you want to try and avoid, but it's, it's all within reason. Now, if your list really likes you, you, you know, go ahead and tell them to whitelist your email, you know, so that, you know, they, you don't get sent to the spam folder when you send an email out to your list. And I think that does happen a lot if you don't really just communicate with your list. It's okay to tell them to white, you know, kind of put you on the okay uh, email file so that they can get, start getting all your emails from it. All right, guys, this is Matt Rivers talking about a little bit email marketing and spam words to avoid when email marketing. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below. We'll see you at the top. Peace.